everybody, welcome back to ABD On and the stunning Miss Lady Pop Runner here with another weekly roundup taking a look at some of what is hitting the adult collector's market very soon, very or maybe never, or maybe months and months from now, hmm. or years. Anyways, as things get weirder and weirder with all of that, announcement, Saturday, February 5th, February 5th, from 10 to 3, Toy Swap Meet. Mm -hmm. We will be at the Toy Swap Meet, which is hosted by Retroville, uh, 3217 New Macklin Road in Powder Springs, if you happen to be in Georgia, at the Treasure Hunt Antique Mall, which actually has a lot of vintage toy booths in it, as well as uh, vinyl records, doesn't it? No, that's not or that Or is that mall. the other one? It's a different one. Am I mixing them up? I'm mixing yep. them up, folks. There we go. We've been in that one, and I think they have like two or three... Um, toy things um but they had have, a lot of they had a lot of toy booths i'm thinking of a different one you thinking had about more vinyl i'm thinking I, for some reason i got it mixed up with one they had all the vinyl mm -hmm. but that's where we're going to be and it's like a parking lot type sale and yeah I think they like have, a outdoor yard sale hopefully the weather is good it's been raining for the last two days yeah but it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow just cold so We'll see. And they are supposed to be pulling something like around 50 vendors out front and stuff, yeah. too. Yeah, and we're going to see maybe um, the next time mm -hmm. or when the weather warms up, we'll set up a table. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Yeah, but not when it's cold. Make some make some ducats. Cash in. We can jack the prices up really <laughs> high. No, and we then when people that. come up, we look on eBay. Yeah, haggle. We don't know on eBay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Pop's price guide. It's worth this. I could take a bunch of them pops I have. You could. And we might um, do that. Sell it. And open to trades. Unlike a lot we of folks. We're not going to trade nothing but cash. I'll trade. <laughs> That's what happened all the pop swaps. Yeah, they don't <laughs> want to trade no Nobody pops. trades they anymore. They want to trade cash. It used to be you could trade, and then everybody's like, well, I kind of need to get paid. Yeah, kind of want that cool, <laughs> hard cash. Yeah, I know. Cash is king. Yeah. Well, all Anyways, yes, we'll start off with Bandai, and this is Bandai America, which means the inexpensive versions, and that is Frieza, first form Frieza. 20 bucks. 20 bucks on the card, I think. I know who would like that. Black Knight. Yeah, Black Knight. 720, ten, I think. 10. 710. I think it's 710, right? 710. Yeah, that, that's, that's right up his alley. Yeah, he likes it. Blitzway. Let's just jump right into the next thing. Mm -hmm. Blitzway Hellboy 2 Golden Army version. One quarter scale statue with two heads. And it is mixed media, so he is wearing an actual trench coat and stuff. Standing in front of the portal, I guess. This is eleven $1 hundred dollars. Ron Perlman says he's open to doing more Hellboy, even though he's older. Even though they they pulled the okie doke on him and started rebooted Hellboy. Yeah, with another actor. I saw that one I, in the theater. I like the uh, Ron Perlman version. I never saw his. I saw the you one. Did. You did. You saw the, the first one. Oh, I saw yeah. the one in the theater. Mm -hmm. The, it, it, the the uh, Ron Perlman version doesn't use as much vulgarity. The Just, one in the theater had a lot of foul language? The one you watched did, yeah. Oh, it did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought so, right? I don't know. I think I think this, the, the remake had a lot of uh, a lot of dirty How words. Know? You didn't even see it. 27 and a half inches oh. at a quarter scale. With the horns? You know, I don't know. They didn't specify if that's with or without horns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Boss Fight Studios, because I guess uh, these King Features syndicate uh, washed up superhero characters from like the 20s and 30s is getting around because NECA was doing them. You know, the Phantom and uh, and the Flash. Well, they're doing their 5-inch, like, uh, what is it, 6 points of articulation or 8. I think it's 8 points of articulation figures. Power Stars, retro hero figures, and that's Flash Gordon, obviously. Twenty-two dollars. I'm not sure how they come in package, though. What is that? An action figure. Mm. Of Flash Gordon, the old school Flash Gordon from like the old movie serials. Mm. It's going to be on a card. I think it's coming carded. 
but they don't provide an image of it. That's we were watching that cartoon, the Phantom. Phantom. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was, you know, I don't know why we. But that's based on like a a series from like the the 30s and 40s. Um, so all of these characters are mm-hmm. they they started off as like movie serials, twenty two dollars, and Prince Nothing. Thun, Prince Thun, who is all a uh, character from Flash Gordon. He had a big bag. Yeah, well, he's supposed to be a lion man. He's a lion man. Oh, that's right. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see the tail now. He's <laughs> a cowardly lion, but not. <laughs> $22. With that matted afro. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You need to pick he, that you up. You know, he looks like Jason Moma. No. Yes, he does. Look at that. Jason Moana looks oh, good. Oh, is it Moana? I Moana, said it. I said Moana. It. I don't know I what it is. It. Maybe I said it wrong. The guy that played Aquaman. And there's Ming the Merciless. He's on Phantom. Yeah. But mm-hmm. he's actually a Flash Gordon villain. Oh. From Four Horsemen, a single think. announcement. They usually announce like... Way, way too much, one. yeah. Mm-hmm. But this time it's just one piece, and that is Krampus. That one looks good. One twelfth scale Krampus, and he's holding these switches that he can beat your kid with. Some kids needs Krampus. Yeah, to come yeah, visit. They do, and it's twelfth scale, sixty five dollars. But they don't <clears> tell you exactly how tall he actually is, but he'd have to be in the larger range of a 12 scale at that price point for Four Horsemen. Mm-hmm. Here's his accessory packs. I like how it comes with a pair of little hands. Those hands actually go inside the basket to look like some little kids in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did get a kick out of that. Mm-hmm. Funko. Who wants to talk about Funko? Not Funko. Me. Oh, okay, well, we're going to anyway. And more of their gold series. Are these selling? Because Walmart's like up to the eyeballs in them. They, is uh, anything from Funko selling? I don't know. But this is like one of the, in my opinion, one of the lamer things that they're doing. Mm. But the Funko Gold Series, 5-inch regular and Chase versions. Oh, that's what they It's Chase. Yeah. Oh, God, LeBron James. Chase, ver- yeah, he's in everything. Chase versions, uh, basically... Um, what is it? I guess the chase, they're in their, no, not all of them. I, I'm assuming, I assumed that some of them are wearing like their college jerseys in the chase version. You mean a home jersey and a away jersey? No, because one said, like, uh, look at this guy, Zion. It says one is Nola and one says Pelicans. And then on the Ja Morant, it the one says Memphis and the other one says uh, Grizzlies. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Let's just yeah. move on. And here is another 12-inch one, and that's going to be a Walmart exclusive, regular and Chase edition. I'm just curious. Does anybody like these? Uh, are they selling? Uh, do you see tons of them at Walmart like we do? I'm, I'm just curious. Just tell us in the comments section. Also from Funko, the Legend of Korra box warehouse exclusive. What's the box figure. warehouse? I don't know. I've never been to a box warehouse is that like an online store or something? Who knows? I don't know either. Somebody scolded me for not knowing this stuff. So what? In the comment section. Somebody says, you act like you don't even care. No, I'm just being honest. I'd rather be honest oh. and tell the audience, I don't know, than pretend like I know and cut frame the crap out of the video. <laughs> like, like every minute there's like 18 cut frames because <laughs> I'm going back and looking at stuff so I can act like I'm a freaking genius. More Pokemon. See, I know what Pokemon is. I never played it, but I know what it is. That guy looks like he has spoons. Does he eat cereal or something? Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. And Proud Family. Proud Family pops, because that needed to happen. (laughs) What is that? That's Uh, a Medea movie? I think it's a cartoon. Um, Oh, it says Disney, the Proud Family. Blech. <clears throat> Target exclusives. Mm. They can have it. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. And oh god, they got merchandising. Merchandise. Yeah, Cups. merchandising. Cups and a backpack and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, I think it's a I think it's a an animated series. Oh, okay. 
And this is the Soda Ninja Turtle exclusive six pack. That cooler comes with six soda cans okay. in it. Okay, I was about to say, how the heck they gonna do that? You buy the pack sealed. All six of these have a chase, mm -hmm. but you will get in each of these six packs you buy one chase randomly. Now, okay, let me ask this question. Here we go. I know you don't know the answer. Uh huh. But okay, it comes with six. <laughs> are you gonna get each one of those, or is it random? So you might end up with it's, six Leonardos and. Uh, I like I that. can't answer that actually. You get the whole set. Okay, you're gonna get each one of those, but, but one of them one of them will be a chase. Will be a chase. Will be a chase. Or will might be, be a chase. One of them will be a chase, oh, okay. but you don't know which one. Oh, okay. So. But that's not bad. Yeah, unless you just want all chases, <sighs> then you get a nightmare. How much is that gonna cost? <laughs> I, that, yeah. that can. I don't know what is a so, what is a soda and usually. Uh, Go for at least six times the price of a soda plus the plus cost the, of the bag. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the bag is nice. That's right? kind of pushing it. Mm. <laughs> 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 I know. Thanks. Uh, thanks a lot, Funko. You know that that that's the name of the game for Funko is to squeeze those profits because you know there are people that will buy six of those and end up with like four Chase Leonardos and. They will keep buying them and keep buying them. Like those people we saw videos of, and they yeah. had like, what, 24 that, cases? Yeah, it was that, that guy, one guy. He had about 20, 24 cases. Of uh, like. Of one of thing. The, uh, of the um, sodas. Opening each one. Looking for a chase. And he was shaking it for luck first. Okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and didn't they come a, with a coin or something? Yeah, there's a. Pog, and they try to bring Pogs back. Remember Pogs I don't in the know 90s? Yeah, is. I remember Pogs. Milk caps. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. It was popular in the early 90s for like a heartbeat. Has, Hasbro, and you saw this coming, didn't you? No. Black Series Cad Bane, because he just appeared on Book of Boba Fett, like last episode, I think. There and there's your Cad Bane figure, Clone Wars Cad Bane, twenty four dollars. It's not a bad price. I guess not. Well, that's the typical Black Series price, isn't it? I don't know. M Mattel. And I thought this was interesting. Mattel Hot Wheels Bundle. Mm. There are six Batmobiles in here from six different eras. It's $38 for the box. and Oh, I'm sorry, five Batmobiles. I thought they've done that before. I don't remember, but they're doing it again if they did. Mm. Including the newest movie. So, um, really, they're all movie Batmobiles because there was a 66 Batman movie starring mm -hmm. all of the main characters, and they still use the same car in it, so I mm -hmm. guess that counts. Masters also, they've got Sun Man, a regular edition Sun Man, going to retail stores because of the popularity of the convention exclusive one that nobody was able to get. It's on Big Bad Toys. Big Bad Toy Story. This one is, yes. Yeah. It was there and disappeared, and now it's back. But, you know, it's supposed to go to Walmart, Target, wherever. And a sneak peek here, mm -hmm. because they're going to make the other two figures. Yeah. Because originally there were three, weren't there? Uh -huh. I think originally it was three, so they're going to remake all three of them. And that's uh, Digitino. Which is the Hispanic looking guy there, I guess. Yeah. And Space Sumo. <laughs> so the Japanese guy gets to be a warthog. That's cute. <laughs> I guess. He doesn't come with that power sword that with a lightning and a fire is coming out. That's oh. the only exclusive. Okay. Sun Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. That uh, that collar is a bit much though. I don't know how you do anything with that collar. Right. Not unless a collar got some kind of power. So if he's chasing somebody, and the guy runs through a doorway, he's got a maneuver, and he could lose that person. 
But tell WWE I don't show, show WWE too oh, often. Why are you doing it now? I don't know either. But we're going to do it. That's uh, Alexa Bliss. I have no idea who that is because I don't know anything about wrestling past like 1995. Mm-hmm. $37. Bucks. Why? I don't know. <laughs> wow. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's uh, weird how they got the screw joint showing in her shoulder. Uh huh. See? Oh, yeah. The, the pin, yeah. The, pin is like... show, the pin showing in the front. Mm. And then she has that really articulated torso. Mm hmm. Or not articulated, but it's well detailed, rather. Yeah. Cesaro, $24. Just swing it. Just swing it. That's what it says on his jacket. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? Yeah. Raquel Gonzalez, $24, with her pleather coat. I bet that that's going to look terrible in the package. It looks par- terrible in the rendition. Yeah, it does. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. That's, that's a classic retro. one. Yeah, that's very retro. 24 Seth Rollins. 24 and this is series 93 by the way oh really yeah that's how long this has been going on series oh, 93 how fast they're making it t-bar mm. t-bar they ain't cranking it out as fast as uh as some of these other properties speaking of which Here's McFarlane again. At least he changed the With packages. more Batman. This is a carded version of Batman The Adventures Continues figure. And these are, of course, about roughly one twelfth scale. 30 bucks. I'm like, 30 bucks for a McFarlane figure? And it doesn't even have a build a figure attachment? That's yeah, kind of why up. is that? $30? Yeah. Because usually they're 20 bucks unless they have a build a figure. And if they do, they're like 25. And that card reminds you of that 90s Star Wars that you can't give away. Yeah, I see. You know I, I, mean? I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. And, of course, there's uh, Batman Who Laughs also in the $30 range. I didn't know that was in the Adventures Continue either. I haven't even seen it. No. And Catwoman version 2. Because why not? And that will actually do it for McFarlane, thank goodness. Yeah. But it's like, he, he's as bad as uh, Legends or any of the other ones right now because oh, it's cool. coming out with something every week, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mego had a surprise announcement this week, and that is they are collaborating with Hasbro again because the Ghostbusters is a Hasbro property. Mm-hmm. They did the two-pack of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Mego now- did? Yeah, they did. Oh, wow. Migo, with collaboration with Hasbro. Mm. Now they're doing it. Ghostbusters X Migo four-pack collection. So you can't buy them separately. They come as a four-pack. 70 bucks, and you got to go to Hasbro Pulse to buy it. No, oh, okay. While supplies last, Hasbro's going to limit this. So it's sold out. It might, I don't know. Um, and it's not going to be... They're not even going to start shipping until at least November. So keep that in mind if you run over there to do it. Mezco actually had a few announcements this week, starting off with the five points Hedora. And it does come with the Godzilla. Hedora, one of my favorite Godzilla villains, actually. Little buildings and everything that it comes with and the Hedora flying form and stuff. It's pretty cool. $65 for the whole set. Hmm. So you get all those pieces. They also have neon skulls, and they are basically head swaps for your 12 scale figures. Mm -hmm. You get all four of the different colored skulls for 25 bucks. So if you want to put them on other figures, yeah. And they did the same thing here with their Slugfest Barbarian Booster Kit, they're calling it. Yeah, basically a couple of barbarian heads. If you've got a couple of extra figures laying around, six, uh, 12 scale rather, that you want to fight with um, Conan, for example. Got a couple of heads and some other weapons here. $40 for this set. Oh, look at the blood splatters. NECA. Mm-hmm. Haven't heard from NECA in a minute. A couple more of their 
Kenner nod or Kenner retro style aliens figures. And this is the Panther alien with magnetic attack parasite, whatever that means. NECA alien uh, Panther and Night Cougar. Night Cougar, and this is supposed to be retail. Not sure about a price on these though. Very, very much like the old Kenner style there. Mm -hmm. And for PCS collectibles, Bebop quarter scale statue. Those go with the turtles, the PCS yeah. turtles. Yeah. Bebop is 665. Yeah. And there's uh, something to give you an idea of the height. 16 inches at quarter scale. It's pretty short by comparison. Mm -hmm. It's interesting though. I wonder whose shadow that is. Premium DNA, and I've shown Premium DNA before because they've got a couple of properties they brought back, including the Mad Balls action figures. And these are two packs, six inch Mad Balls versus Garbage Pail Kids. Mm -hmm. So Screaming Mimi versus Mouth Phil. And these are ninety dollars. Wow. Ninety dollars for these two packs. Mm. And here's you know they've got uh, I think three or four of these, Oculus Orbis versus Starin Darren. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Bruce Brother versus Mugged Marcus. Well, then we know who won that fight because Marcus got mugged. Mm -hmm. and Hornhead versus Cyclops his eye is damaged he got scratched right across his eye He can't. Yeah, he's useless uh, he can still see I guess now this one threw me Storm Collectibles is doing Battle of the Planets Gachiman and that's Ken the Eagle Ken the Eagle 1 12th scale, which I'm a big fan of, of uh, vintage Gachimon. Two different head sculpts, two different capes. I think the capes are vinyl, though. I don't think they're mixed media capes. Mm. I think they're vinyl. I could be wrong, but that's, that's my impression. $120 for Ken there. And it's, it's a, a far cry from what Storm usually does, which is like... Uh, Street Fighter. Yeah, video game characters yeah. and occasionally wrestlers or boxers. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's a, a far cry from what they normally do. Super 7, Bruce Lee Ultimates. Bruce Lee Ultimates, and that's what they're calling the Warrior, which is really from Enter the Dragon. That's why he's got all the nunchucks. I don't know. Do you think that's a good likeness of Bruce Lee? It looked better on the on their website. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. A lot of hands. Yeah, a lot of hands. For all, well, you know, for all of the different attacks. Yeah. $55. And then this one is the Challenger, which is, of course, from Game of Death, the film that never got finished. Um, also $55. And, you know, I would have, I don't know, they got a lot of properties that they're uh, stretching out there. I think I would have liked to, to see them, like, the first one, the Warrior. Mm-hmm. Um, make other characters from Game of Death to go with it. You know, the main characters mm -hmm. from uh, from Game of Death to go along with it instead of just a standalone Bruce Lee figure. I don't know. I didn't see the movie. You saw Game of Death. Oh. It's the one the guy had the, ar the hand that he screwed off and he put the claw hand on. He had like an artificial hand. You saw the film. Mm. She saw it. I don't remember. 3-0. <laughs> And I just thought this was really interesting from 3-0. It's Future GPX Cyber Formula Acerada. 1-18th scale. It does come with the action figure. It is die cast. Everything on this opens up and lights up. Mm. And at 1-18th scale, that means that the driver is about the size of a 3 3 quarter inch G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. 350 for this. Wow. There's a better look at the action figure. His jointing isn't bad until you see until you get to the elbows, but they, you know they made it so that he could sit in the car, in the car, sit in the car, unless you want to put one of your Joes in there. And here's the car opened up, lights on. I mean, it's impressive looking, and it is diecast. Yeah. 
three hundred fifty bucks. I don't know, guys. No. What do you What do you think? That's think, a bit much. Think that's a bit much. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a bit much too. If it was like a hundred bucks, I, you know, I, I, I still I, would be I a bit much. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. If it was a hundred bucks, I'd put it on the fence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, did you see anything that you liked this week? I did like the Sun Man, and I did get that. You did? Mm hmm Okay. Because I, I, I looked at the original one some mm -hmm. months back when they first brought it up, and it is expensive. It got real expensive yeah. after Mattel made, made the uh, announcement. The announcement, and yeah. suddenly the price has tripled. Yeah. Mm hmm And it's still up there, and the convention exclusive is ridiculous. Yeah, of course. So, you know, I said, I'll settle for that. And if they come out with those other two figures, I would get that because I want something like that. And um, I was also looking at the G.I. Joe knockoffs, you know, the, the black characters. Oh, you mean the 80s ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and those actually are not that expensive. Well, no, not until it, some unless, months ago, it wasn't that expensive. You could find them for under $50. If Mattel announces that they got the rights to that and they're going to make, uh, they're going to make, uh, reissues yeah. the price on the original ones will go up yeah and maybe i should have moved on it some months back yeah of um, course you know whatever it's the name um, of the game and i think that's it okay. i did i did make a move on that because you know I, I thought you know i saw it and i was like okay that's cool it got history even though i don't agree and i don't believe it um <laughs> The story of the how Sun yeah, Man came to, how be. It came to be. We can talk about that in the live stream if anybody's we curious. We talked about it already. Again. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I think we uh, did talk about it. Yeah, but um, mm -hmm. it's still I, I still like it. So I okay. Got that. Other than that, that's it. All right. Um, jeez. Where do you begin? Yeah, no, Maybe not with really. Those basketball players. No. Yeah. Okay. I want to waste my money on that stuff at Walmart. Honestly, I don't see anything here this week that I would even get on the fence with. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, that's the way it is. Yeah. Maybe the Mego Ghostbusters, but I have not been hearing good things about the quality of the Mego How figures. How do you know? They even didn't even see it. It's not even, even out. Of Mego figures in general, the new oh. Mego figures. Mm. They're, they're not very good quality, although I probably wouldn't open it. Yeah, so you know? that doesn't so, matter. I don't know. I'll think, I'll think about it. It'll probably be sold out by the time I make up my mind. But, yeah. you know, what are you going to do? Also, uh, I was kind of intrigued by the Storm uh, Ken, the Gachiman figure. Oh, yeah. Just because I'm a big fan of the original anime. Mm. Anyways, guys, did you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope that you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos. All that stuff. Um, maybe we'll see you at the Toy Swap Meet on Saturday, February 5th. If you run into us, say hello. And if you can't make it, we will be filming. And <laughs> as long as nobody tries to stop us. Yeah. We, will, we usually don't have a problem. We did have a problem in that flea market once. They gave us a hard time. But, uh... Okay. In a flea market, yeah. They were like, you can't film in here because of security reasons. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever, loser. But uh, <laughs> if you can't make it, then you will still get to see it anyways. So if that's it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.